This patient is a 30-year-old female with right ankle pain and swelling after a jump four months ago. We have MRI examination of the right ankle. There is a um, complete tear of the anterior talofibular ligament uh, as seen with the uh, red arrows on these images. There is a um, high grade sprain of the posterior talofibular ligament. as seen on these images with green arrows. There is passable stress-related edema in the distal lateral aspect of the cuboid bone as seen on this sagittal image with this blue arrow. MR findings are consistent with uh, complete tear of the anterior talofibular ligament and high grade sprain of the posterior talofibular ligament. The lateral collateral ligament complex consists of the anterior talofibular ligament, the calcaneofibular ligament, and the posterior talofibular ligament. The anterior talofibular ligament is separated into two bands. It is the weakest of the lateral collateral ligaments and is susceptible to injury because it is taut in plantar flexion. The most common mechanism of injury is inversion and internal rotation with plantar flexion. Patients present with pain and difficulty weight bearing on and giving way of the affected ankle. The anterior talofibular ligament is best assessed on axial images at the level of the distal lateral malleolus. In acute sprains or partial tears, the ligament may be thickened and is of increased signal intensity with adjacent fluid or hemorrhage acutely with blurring of the margins of the ligament. In acute complete tears, a full thickness ligament tear or absence of the ligament is seen with possible capsular rupture and extravasation of joint fluid into the anterolateral soft tissues.